owns Kenya. Now, earlier in the day, the annual Standard Chartered Nairobi Marathon was staged. And today we take a look at the group behind this annual charity event, Standard Chartered Bank Kenya Limited. Now, Standard Chartered Bank celebrated 100 years or a centenary in Kenya last year, having set foot in the country in 1911, with the first branch having been opened in Mombasa. But the roots of the parent company go back further down in history. The Chartered Bank, as it was known then, was founded by British citizen James Wilson following a grant of Royal Charter by Queen Victoria in 18. 53. The Royal Charter from Queen Victoria explains the mystery and origins of the bank's name, Chartered. The bank's founder set up his first branches in Mumbai, then Bombay, India, and Shanghai, China in 1858. Hong Kong and Singapore branches came a year later, firmly establishing Standard Chartered as the leading financial institution in the Far East, even in those early days when it was still called Chartered Bank. Now, the bank still remains a major player in the financial services sector in that part of the world. Meanwhile, around the same time, 1862 to be specific, down in South Africa's Cape Province, one John Peterson was creating a financial institution that would later join up with the Chartered Bank to form what is today Standard Chartered Bank. John Peterson's creation, the Standard Bank, would later merge with the Chartered Bank to become the multinational financial institution with interests in all corners of the globe. The local arm of this gigantic financial services institution was listed on the Nairobi Securities Exchange in 1989 and since then it has attracted over 30,000 local shareholders. Now, Local shareholders own about 26% of Standard Chartered Kenya Limited, a bank with a market capitalization of 63.5 billion shillings and an annual net profit that runs into billions of shillings. So, who are the top shareholders in the local arm? of the Standard Chartered Bank, one of the most profitable financial services institutions in the region. Let's take a look at the shareholding structure of the bank as of April this year. And we have at number six, Old Mutual Assurance Limited. Now, this, of course, is a leading local insurance firm, and they have 0.29% which is valued at about 184.2 million shillings. At number five, we have a KCB nominee's account holding 0.34%, which is worth 214.8 million shillings. At number four, it's a standard chartered nominee uh, account and it holds 0.72%, 484.2 million shillings is what that is worth. Let's take a look at number three, Kabarak Limited, and that's a name you know. This is a local company that is owned by the family of retired president Daniel Arap Moy, 1.03% valued at 666 million shillings is what Kabarak Limited holds in the company. At number two, NSSF, 1.17%, 752 million shillings. It's the NSSF, and at number one, we have Standard Chartered BV Limited, 73.87%. It's the majority shareholder, and that's worth 47.1 billion shillings. And there you have it. So next time you participate in the Stand Chart Nairobi Marathon, you have an idea of who the real benefactors behind this charity are. Let's take a look at the quote of the week. Nothing is really work unless you would rather be doing something else.